This is Erica the Goober, and this is Marley. Marley got a new toy this week. It's a banana. Look at him. <laughs> Welcome to part two of my 2016 to 2018 sketchbook tour. If you're saying part two, where's part one? Then click the link in the description to see part one. In part one, I cover pages one through 50, and I also talk about my materials and sketchbook type in that video. I'm not gonna bore you with that again, so here we go. Hey guys, last time we left off on page 50 with this um, angry face that kind of looks like Kylo Ren. Um, <laughs> I did these drawings for a what should I draw thing on Instagram. And I guess I put an X over this one because I didn't like it. And then I put a check mark, which obviously I, I knew which one I liked better because I drew the next one. I kind of wish I would have kept the sketch of this because I don't really like how the, the pin looks on this one. Here we have a lot of Lucio's. Uh, I love this one. And I never finished the drawing that I started on it digitally. More Overwatch stuff. You're gonna see a lot of it coming up. This is my favorite diva skin. It's the Cruiser Diva. I did a Q&A on Instagram and I drew this cute little drawing of myself. This was for another commission from the same person I did the other Minecraft drawing for. Here's the value study for that. There's a girl on Pinterest that was like an 80s kind of attire. And Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, which I never finished. I stopped on the last mission, even though I really like the game. I don't know what happened. <laughs> we have some Adventure Zone doodles, some like character designs, another Aloy, because I guess I didn't like the, the last one that I did. This was around the time E3 was about to start, and I was really excited for all the stuff that was going to be announced. I think I was really disappointed that year. This is a sketch of me in Gatlinburg in the Smoky Mountains, based on a photo. This was in June. Okay, so Zelda had come out like a few months before that and I hadn't really drawn Link a lot and I think his his like cold face is super cute. Um, oh, I drew Sad Isabel because Animal Crossing was not announced. I was really disappointed in Nintendo's um, Direct that year for E3. But they did say some stuff about Mario Odyssey, and I think Princess Peach is super cute, and I don't think I've ever drawn her. There's a Luna, um, Soldier 76, before his Grill Master 76 skin came out. I did that for Father's Day, actually. A few more Overwatch sketches, Tracer, and like um, some summer clothes with some like, water guns. Ooh, I really like this McCree sketch. I think the, the line work is nice. And I made this into a full digital painting for 4th of July. All right, so I think here is where I start being super messy with my sketches because I wasn't drawing a whole lot. There's Widowmaker, but I'm not really happy about like the anatomy. It's kind of weird. Like even in the final drawing, it was weird. I was sketching my room here. I was trying to make plans for like paintings to put on this wall because it had nothing on it but now I don't even live there anymore, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I tried to draw this picture of D.Va so many times and I pretty much just gave up on it because I couldn't get her face right, but I do like this one and this one. Here's a May from the animated short and this was for a commission for a YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back to doing school stuff. Oh, yay. Um, <laughs> There are a ton of notes coming up for my thesis project. So those are kind of boring, but I do like these sketches. I went to California that year to visit Los Angeles and San Diego. Here's a lot of pictures. So these were all from the internet. I did not cite them, shame on me, and I don't know how to find those again. But I was looking for poses and just colors, like a mood board, really. And all of these are pictures that I took or my sister-in-law Caroline took. Here is the last project that I started for my thesis. This is of Great Smoky Mountains. 
Here's Sly Cooper. I really liked these games when I was younger. I would draw him and all the other characters so often and I was like, hmm, maybe I should try again because it's been so long since I've drawn him. This page is very sparse. <laughs> oh, this is when they announced Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. So I drew these cute little birds. I forgot their names. It's been so long since I played that. This was when Moira came out. There's some ugly ladybug doodles. Ooh. Overwatch colored pencil doodles. I think this is around the time that I got my iPad because I did color a couple of these. Ballerina, some more faces, May. I drew a goose down here. Like, I don't understand why I did that and I don't know what kind of animal this is. Here's a couple puppies. I really like how this corgi turned out once I colored it and I made it into a sticker and it's uh, the one that I put on my sketchbook. Ooh. But I remember in this part of the sketchbook, I was having a lot of trouble with my style and I didn't know like where I was at the moment. I wasn't really happy with any of the faces I was drawing. So I started drawing some like actual people, like studies, I did these. And then I started to draw this picture of Diva and I was so frustrated with that that I was like okay I have to do something I have to get this right so I kept drawing her and I wrote farts next to this because I did not like it at all and I kept doing it over and over again the eyes were weird on this one I thought this one was kind of okay the face shape was weird on this one this one I don't know, she looked kind of rough, but this one, I really liked it. And this was kind of like a turning point when I was trying to find my art style. So here was a lot of uh, practice that I did with trying to like keep that consistent style. This is where I start drawing a lot more faces and trying to like get my style down and capture likenesses of people. This was for Limetown's contest. I really like how this one turned out. And I also, I like this one a lot. It was based on a photo from Pinterest. This was for a raffle winner for, I think it was 3K or maybe it was two. And I was practicing hands because I was struggling with that. Whatever this looks like, she's holding Mercy's face. That's kind of strange. So we have some hands. I started drawing this for a, I called it Sketch With Me Sunday, and I was making videos on Sundays where I recorded my drawing process and I was encouraging people to practice the same kind of thing so we could all get better, but that didn't really work out. Nobody did it, so I just kind of stopped. <laughs> a lot of these were for commissions, like these two. Genji, this looks really creepy. That's not at all like what the mask looks like just kind of happened. There's another sketch with me Sunday thing where uh, this one was the one that I did the hands. I don't know what the other one was for. Maybe I messed up. Oh, here's another sketch with me Sunday. This was figure drawing. So I practiced some poses. This was a commission, commission, some more faces. I took a lot of notes on the KNKL show videos. I was watching a lot of those. A couple more commission things. Actually, most of this page is for commissions. There's a sticker that I made on my iPad. All of these were for commissions up here. I did this um, on a notepad and I pasted it in here. It was uh, my husband and I before we went to somebody else's wedding. Here's Brigitte, some more Pinterest models, more notes. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of notes on this page. This is for an Overwatch drawing that I did with the theme of Pachimarchi. So I did like a bunch of Pachimaris in the crane machine and Diva was like getting out the Lucio one for Lucio. I thought it was pretty cute. Here are some figure drawings where I try to block out the like form with Prismacolor markers. This one's like, oh my god. <laughs> this one was supposed to be Ariel. All of these were notes about plants for a commission. This one was a baby announcement that was like video game theme that was super cute. A lot of faces. I'm starting to like fill up the page more, which I really like. These are some like colored pencil doodles. And this one's like, oh my God, <laughs> what is happening here? Um, oh, this one was for my wedding invitations. And a little Symmetra, cause I really liked that uh, skin that came out. Oh, here's me and Marty. <laughs> More notes, my goodness. 
There's a ton. Ooh, here's a little Marley with some markers. There's me when I was super tired. Um, I drew some clouds and four leaf clovers. I think I was like really bored and I did not know what to draw. All of these are like adventure zone amnesty doodles of Aubrey trying to get like a character design. Other than this, this was a commission, but this was all for Miles and Kilo, uh, a game that I did some art for. Okay, I was trying to figure out what the characters would look like in a different style because they're all 8-bit characters so I needed to design them in kind of my style. So I was doing a lot of different styles of dogs, trying to get like the face shape. Some of these are like really weird and wonky looking. So the layout for everything. A lot of tracer faces. And this was when Draw This In Your Style became popular and I did Sophie Scribbles Draw This In Your Style here. I did this little doodle when we were about to buy a house and I we wrote a letter to the um, the people who were selling it and we did a little drawing of, or I did a little drawing of our little family at the bottom of it. Thought it was cute. And then we did get the house, so that's nice. Ooh, this was when I was drawing my 14K Draw This In Your Style. My little uh, witch named Elsie. Some Inktober prompt list that I did not finish. <laughs> I really like this page. I like that one. It was perfect. <laughs> for how I was feeling at the time. And I wrote, all I want to do is stay home and draw because I was having a bad time at my job and trying to cope with like not being able to draw as much as I wanted to. It was just tough, but that's around the time where I started working at home. So I did get to stay home and draw all day or make videos like this. <laughs> a lot more figure drawing and hands and this hand was so bad that it had to I have a post-it note over it. Um, Carla Rae Jepsen, because I love her. Some more commission stuff. Oh, there's a cute little Marley. I forgot I drew that. Oh my goodness. For one of the commissions I did at uh, Hogwarts and I needed like references of the bridge, but I couldn't really find any on the inter internet. So I saw Fantastic Beasts and I made sure to look at the bridge and I remembered it and I wrote it down as soon as I got home. <laughs> Here's a Nano Cola Diva drawing, which, okay, I did not know about the event and I was out of town whenever it was happening, so I didn't get that skin and I love it so much. So all I can do is draw it, I guess. I think this one looks like Merida from Brave. Oh, here's a, another Draw This In Your Style drawing for my 20K on Instagram. Ooh, okay, so here's my YouTube banner sketch and my end screen sketch. So I guess it's like, ooh, meta. <laughs> These were in a different sketchbook. I drew these in my old school book and they were like Inktober warm-ups. I was too scared to put them in this book because I thought they would be super bad, um, but I thought they were fine. So I cut them out of the other book because they didn't belong in it. Um, I ended that one in 2016. So yeah, more gestures. I really like this one. I think her hands like really nice. A lot of faces here. Um, and they were all with pen. I didn't use any pencil, so pretty proud of that. And here was my first Inktober drawing. I didn't do any more in actual ink. This was of my witch for my other draw this in your style thing. And I drew some cats because I don't really draw too many cats. But yeah, that is the end of this sketchbook. 2016 to 2018. So much for watching part two of this sketchbook tour. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my art. Give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. Do you want to see more sketchbook tour videos? I have a ton of them sitting around and they all have nice labels on them that I just made. If you want to see more sketchbook tours, leave a comment below. And starting this video, I'm going to start a discussion in the comments so we can all kind of like talk about our own art experiences. This week's topic is what are you inspired by? Again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.